Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. How is everybody? I feel like I haven't filmed anything for so long. <laughs> um, so the last bit of videoing that I did do was like a vloggy type thing. Um, I will probably upload that after um, this and I will probably put an outro onto it <laughs> because I can't even remember what I filmed. Um, so yeah, this is going to be like a podcasty type video. Um, I'm going to I'm going to call it a podcast. I do want to get back podcasting. Um, I know they've been very sparse, <laughs> um, but over the last two weeks, my parents have been here, um, and they're only here for another couple of days, and. Basically, I've just been spending time with them and not really picking up the camera much and stuff. So, yeah, I haven't even really been knitting that much. Um, just little bits and pieces here and there. But I thought I'd show you what I have been working on. So, I do have a finished object that I can't show you because I have gifted it. And in the vloggy, clippy video, <laughs> I did say, I'll show you it because it was blocking, um, but I'll have to insert a picture here. So it's the newborn vertebrae. I did um, make the actual pattern bigger. Um, so the newborn is free. You've got a baby vertebrae, a toddler vertebrae, I think. It might be included in the in the first pay one. And then you've got an adult. <clears throat> um, I was gifted the next size up um, because I was trying to get my head around making it bigger and this that and the other uh, and while I was on zoom the lovely Caroline gifted me the pattern uh, for the next size up so thank you so much um, and yeah so I managed to make it a little bit bigger I think it's going to be too big for him now so um, baby was born on the 18th of July so um, yeah, I think it's going to be too big, but better bigger than too small, I suppose. I've not long been up, so it's my first coffee. And I said to the Zoom ladies last night, if I get up early enough, I will film a podcast. One, have I got up early enough? No. Two, here I am filming a podcast. <laughs> um, no, I didn't get up early enough, but I thought I'd quickly do it before Zoom starts. So yeah, um, the first, or well, the second finished object is this, and I want to hold it the right way, I don't really know, that way, and it is my eyelid burst shawl, oh my goodness, I love it so much. So I had four yarns, uh, two was from Easy Knits, this one here and this one here. This, set, this next one here was from uh, Moonlight Fiber, and then this bottom one was from Countess Ablaze. I haven't got the ball bands anymore. Um, I know, and this is why I want to get back podcasting so I can show stuff properly. Um, but you just start with um, a few stitches up here and you extend out and out and out. I am going to quickly just wrap it around me so you can see what it looks like. Let me stand up. I don't know if the camera's too, oops, too high now. Oh no, that's okay. Um, let's put it on properly, Denise. I love the way it looks like a little jacket. Obviously it doesn't go with this t-shirt, but <laughs> uh, this is my rocket tee. Um, yeah, I, it just looks like a little jacket and it's, it's gonna be one of them ones that just don't fall off. Like, it's gonna stay um, and I'm, really looking forward to sort of just wrapping it around me it will probably be like an indoor-y type autumn sitting on the sofa keeping warm one <laughs> um i do really want another one but if you are my zoom ladies you will know how much i moaned about this one towards the end because there were so many stitches um but i think having one that would go with more more clothes that I've got if that makes sense like this one's not too bad the colors are quite nice they go together I'm really happy with it um but I don't know like like if it was gray white black I, I don't know I just think that 
this is a bit out there um i love it either way um it is blocked i have waving all the ends um and it grew massively once i had blocked it so that's that finished object um i don't believe i have any other finished objects what is going on with my hair now um <clears throat> i don't think so I haven't finished anything else now i've i've cast on a couple of things <laughs> right uh this is going to be in no order i'm just going to pick the bags as they are on the table so the first one is living in my in my ball bag and it is my summer sorrel which i'm in love with <laughs> um so this is my progress is the right way around this is my progress so far um here is the dip stitches and the color oh my god i love it so much i honestly can't wait to get this finished not that we've really had a summer or anything but i just can't wait to get this finished and it's absolutely gorgeous the color is coming up pretty well i was trying to take a picture on my phone the other day and it just was coming up yellow this is orange <laughs> Mm, it's still not perfect it's more orange than that um i'm not alternating skeins or anything just because i've only got one skein of each but now what i want to do is get the yarn that i'm using which is this one from mandy from mouse's makes and i want to um do some of the sleeve but what i'm going to do is go from the outside of the ball so i can still keep this attached I don't want too many ends to weave in. Not that I think it's going to be a problem, but I don't know. I, I, the thing with this is that I'm thinking I don't really want to. Um, I don't want to knit on it because I know I'm going to have to faff around with the yarn and the sleeve, but I do want to knit on it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the Summer Sorrel by. Can I remember? probably right in the front of my head but it is by <coughs> no oh wool and pine designs i'm sure it's wool and pine designs i will leave all the patterns linked down below anyway so this is what one of them looks like on the pattern really pretty um the yarns that i'm using is uh so the first one was woolly mummy yarn uh the one from mandy is peach melba and then the last one is i haven't got a ball band for um oh sorry sorry the first one was um december's colorway from woolly mummy yarns um and then this is the wool kitchen that's coming up peach it's not it's orange um I don't have a ball band for this um, but it is the wall kitchen it's got a bit of a fluff to it it's more floofy i'm hoping it's going to be okay i'm sure it will be so that is my summer sorrel whoopsie in that bag the next bag is um just a bag full of yarn so um I did sort out all of my yarn that may be in a video you've already seen I can't remember um, so I rejigged all of my yarn and I put some more in my C2C basket more into my cozy memory basket and this one here is for um, yarn cozies um, for example <laughs> um, I do have quite a few other yarn cozies um, I don't know what I have done with them. Um, <clears throat> I did tidy my desk and now I've got my cones out, which is quite nice. What did I? Oh, I think it's actually in the pot back there. Um, anyway, so this is just full with the pattern of yarns that I want to do yarn cozies with. Um, I really enjoyed doing the yarn cozies and because I'm really not into socks at the minute, they're like my sort of easy go-to. Um, so I can keep that out actually, because I could probably use that. So that's in that bag. 
I've literally pulled all of my bags out. The next one is my Cozy Memory and I have quite a few yarns left over uh, to knit into this and I have knit all of these with stitch markers in. So I'm now going along trying to fill in the gaps so I've just got sort of, I've done these ones as well. I'm not going to go into detail today of what yarns they are but just this is how far I've got. Um, this is going to take me forever <laughs> to make it into a blanket size um, but it's going to be one of those that I go back to um, and put away for ages and then go back to and stuff um, and it's really nice to use some of the yarns that I forgot that I've used before um, so I am literally just putting my hand in this bag and just pulling out a yarn there's still quite a few in there um, and then just putting it in even if it's next to a colour that's similar I'm really not bothering I'm just putting it in because that's the way I'm rolling <laughs> um, so that is the cozy memory blanket I did follow when I very very first done it the um, craft house magic tutorial um, because I like the um, twisted knit stitch instead of the slip slip knit knit two together um, I just prefer the, the twisted stitches that's that one the next one is uh, a new cast on and it's not that <laughs> and I have got this yarn I will show you the ball I have got this yarn and I purchased a second ball when we went to or me and Ian went to Sconch um, because I was like, oh, I've got one of those at home and I really don't know what to do with it. If I had two, I would have more options. And in my head, I was thinking I could make a granny square cocoon cardigan. So I have made, I've started a granny square and this is one full ball. I don't think it's going to be big enough for me to make the whole thing in this yarn. So what I was thinking was carrying on with the rest of this and I think I may have some grey um, so this is like blue and grey I may have some grey that I can edge it with the cut the like the front ribbon the arm and the arm ribbon so that's what I'm thinking um, so just do the whole granny square as big as I can go um, with this and hopefully I might be able to join um, with this because I don't really want to join with the grey but anyway um, so it's this big I need it probably a little bit bigger because obviously it joins you sort of fold it in half and it joins but then it sort of opens up here if that makes any sense. Um, I've made a few of these now and um, they're really, really comfortable. The one that I've got is absolutely massive because I put it in the washing machine and it didn't, the yarn didn't like it basically. Um, but I need to add that second ball in, but I'm not putting it in the project bag. I'm using my own crochet bag just because this squishes down in my box quite nicely <laughs> um, so that's that one the next one I want to show you is this and this is my ranunculus um, so I've got quite far on this now um, it still needs some length but here is my ranunculus I'm really enjoying knitting on this I did a bit of this last night so I am working on a project that is a bit I've got a bit of a deadline I'll show you it in a second um, and it needs to be done and I've been working on it quite a lot the last couple of days but I just needed something I needed to break that so I picked up this <laughs> um, and I've got quite a bit on it now this is what it looks like um, the armhole is here I think I'm gonna go down to 15 inches um, I'm finding that as I've lost weight I don't need as long of a length like this top here is like really long I think I did this to like 17 inches and I really don't need it that long so um, I'm gonna knit just as far as I can to the well not as far as I can but I'm gonna knit to like 15 see what it's like and then put a rib on the bottom 
The sleeves, I'm still undecided whether I want short sleeves or long sleeves. Um, it's depending on yarn, really. Um, I'm on to um, the last pack of yarn, but this is my first ball and I've only just broke into it. So I'm doing quite well and I think there will be plenty to do long sleeves. So yeah, um, the only thing with this yarn, you can't really see the design very well um, and I've been watching Tina from Simply and Stitches and she's made a yellow one. Oh my goodness it's stunning it's so nice and I was like yellow like how summery is that I know we haven't had a summer I know uh, but there may be another one in the future we'll have to see um, yeah so I'm really really happy with this and I can't wait to wear it um, or at least just get it finished. So that's that one. And then the last thing that I've got is um, a, a baby blanket, but I'm not making it into a blanket, if that makes sense. So here is the pattern. Um, it's a free pattern. It looks like this. And it it is a blanket, but I'm going to be then altering it to make it into a cocoon type thing. Um, so Ian's sister um, wanted something. It's a. It's like um. It's hard to explain. It's like a long blanket that's folded over, seamed at the bottom, but then buttoned and opened at the top. Um, and she's already got one, but it's got loads of fur inside, and she wants one without fur. Um, and she can't find one anywhere. So I said like she asked if I could make one and I was like well I can give it a try and this is my progress so far it doesn't look very wide but that's because it's going to be that way round and once I block it I'm hoping it will stretch out a little bit and plus once I have seamed the bottom I am going to pick up stitches for the top and then do like a thick border for the top as well it's in moss stitch and I'm really hoping that blocking this out is going to straighten it up a little bit because it's a little bit wonky. Um, yeah, but it's a really, really easy knit. The cable is so easy. Um, I did get a little confused at the beginning just here because obviously the moss stitch and then doing uh, establishing the cable rows and I was just getting a bit confused, but I'm... I'm totally fine now I don't even need the pattern I just need the row numbers um, and I've worked out I need 200 rows um, to complete the the design and that's just me guesstimating so I have quite a few left to go I think I'm now on 60 70 where is my thing I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done 70 rows <laughs> um, and I need 200. So I worked out that if I do 30 rows a day, that would be done in a week. We'll just have to, we'll have to see. Because obviously with the blocking and the, the doing the rib and putting the buttons on and, and all stuff like that. So um, what I'll do is once I get to the other end on the border, I'll put the button holes in. Um, so yeah, that's another new project that I've cast on um, not that I needed to cast on any projects but it's nice to have new ones sometimes isn't it it's nice to have that variety um, so at the weekend I did go to the summer war show did I film anything no um, I met up with Sally um, she don't have a podcast, but she's my friend Sally. <laughs> uh, Sharon from the SCR1 TNO podcast. I think it's just the Knitting Project podcast. Um, and Laura from The Lonely Knitter. So I will link their uh, channels down below. Uh, we sat there. We had a really nice afternoon knitting and shopping for yarn. Um, I will show you what I got as I use them. Um, I didn't really pick up that much, to be honest. Um, I think four skeins of yarn so it wasn't that much and I was quite reserved knowing that I'm going to the southern wool show as well um and also there's stitches stitches in the sand stitches on the sand 
something like that. <laughs> um, and I don't know whether I might pop up that way as well. It's depending on the weather, really, more than anything. Um, but yeah, so that happened the weekend. It was really lovely. Uh, really had a good time. Uh, what else is there to update you on? Yeah, just my parents have been here, so just been busy spending time with them. Um, this weekend we are going to uh, where my mum's staying, um, which is in Southend, um, and we may go droning, like my dad and Ian will go droning, depending on the weather. Um, the weather has just been so rubbish. Um, next week's supposed to be nice, but they're going home then. <laughs> but their weather will be nice, because it's... They live in Spain, of course it'll be nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so... That, it's just it's just been that really I've I've sort of gone on zooms here and there where I can um, if you are um, interested in monthly zooms then please go over to my Kofi page where you can become a member and you can get access to the zoom information um, I may even sometimes do like um, one-offs as well so I don't know I might like on the Monday decide one day in the week I'll do a membership zoom um so it's not just once a month um maybe twice a month here and there I'm not really sure yeah I, I'm I need to get back into the swing of things I've sort of dropped out of that I'm out of routine which don't really help and stuff so um yeah I don't really have that much more to say uh, I'm just looking around to see if there was anything I forgot. I don't think there is. Um, I will just put a um, the other video up as well, which is going to have a great big gap in the middle. Uh, but there we go. Um, I do want to get back filming at least a podcast, even if it's like once every two weeks. Um, just showing what I've been making and stuff. I really enjoy sitting down and rambling in front of the camera, so, <laughs> um, but I just haven't done, because I've been so busy, and I know that I haven't been able to edit or anything, so, um, where is my necklace, it's at the back, um, so yeah, I also, um, last weekend, you probably know this by now, won Woman of the Year at Slimming World, and I was over the moon, I did not expect it at all, um, so I have now lost uh, two stone ten pound. We get weighed tomorrow, um, so I don't know how much more this week. But um, I was over the moon, and yeah. So me and Ian have got our certificates up and our little um, not trophies, but like little ornaments up. Um, I'm just so chuffed, so so chuffed. <laughs> um, other places that you can interact with me um, so I am on Instagram that is linked down below Facebook not so much I don't really use Facebook that much I did go on threads for about two days and then for oh my god my brain can't take more <laughs> um, there is a discord group um, that is linked down below uh, come over there share all your makes and um, ideas and there's lots of different threads that you can come over and have a chat with everybody um, I would I just love to see my my subscribers or viewers or whatever all chatting to each other as well um, and getting to know each other and stuff that's really lovely um, also on Kofi um, also another big thing that I want to mention is the year of the sock 2023 Instagram is being a little bit of a pain so they've changed the way that hashtags are shown when you search for a hashtag you can't search newest to oldest anymore it's only top posts which is really really annoying so I have opened a Ravelry thread for finished objects for year of the sock 2023 it's the only way that I'm going to be able to pull winners from that um, there is a Year of the Sock 2023 thread in the Discord group as well. Um, I will probably only be picking winners from Ravelry. If that changes, I will let you know. Uh, just because I don't want there to be too much of an overlap, if that makes sense. But 
actually, actually, I will pull winners, finished object winners from the Discord group. So if you want two en that's four. If you want two entries into the year of the sock, post in Ravelry, post in Discord, and what I'll do is I'll number them all, and then I'll go over to Discord and number them all, put them into a drawer, so you'll have twice the chances of winning. So that is what I'm going to do. So yes, if you are in a Discord group or you prefer Discord to Ravelry or Ravelry to Discord, you've got two options there to put your finished objects in. Um, I'm just not in a sock kick at the moment. I've really been out of it. And also please still share your socks on Instagram. And what I'm going to do is the ones that pop up, I will put on my stories um, so other people can see them as well because obviously... It's being a little bit of a crap bag. And please tag me in that. So, you know, when you put in uh, hashtag you of the sock 2023, uh, just tag me in that um, post so I can see it. And then I can um, put it in my stories as well. So everyone can see it. Yes, that's that. I think that is everything for today. I don't know when there's going to be another video up other than the little clippy bit that goes nowhere. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it like, no, don't go and watch it, but it's probably really boring. I have shown product projects in it, so, um, I'm sure I have. I just need to edit it. <laughs> um, right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, if you've got any comments or anything, leave them down below and I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys.